Right. Okay. Thanks for the lift. So, hello again, White Run. New plan. Self education. Bard sucks. Hi, by the way. How are you doing? We've already met. Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. Yeah. Right. Sure. If you're looking for the court wizard, I'm not him. Farangar is the one you want. If you wish to speak with him, you'll find him somewhere in the general direction of boredom. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's this invention called wine that requires my immediate attention. Is this how you talk to everybody who says hello in the middle of a crowded tavern? Whatever. Um, if, look, if I wanted to speak to a court wizard, I'd go to Dragon's Reach right now. He's probably still there. So you just want a wizard? You've still come to the wrong place. Walk outside, make a left, and tell Bjorlum you want to go to Winterhold. I already did that. I'll be making my own trip to the bottom of a bottle, where I plan on staying for the conceivable future. Yes, wine's good. Now, if you'll kindly shut your mouth, I have questions to ask. Oh, right. We'll ask them then. You have my completely divided attention. <laughs> okay. May I ask your name, good woman? My name is Elderwin. I've come to Whiterun for the Skyforge and for Farangar. You seem to have an obsession with wine. I don't know if you think anyone's noticed. I don't see that as a negative. My Nord friends often chide me for neglecting the rich history of Skyrim, as if I was ignorant of it. They say, you know, Elder, there's more to Skyrim than just Alto and spiced wine. And I tell them, yes, yes, this I know all about Skyrim's your windmills and bards and 12 different words for cold. I only care about the wine. Windmills? Why, why windmills? I, first I've heard of... Anyway. Um, why, why the Skyforge and Faringar? Jorland allows me to use his magical forge to craft jewellery. I use the enchanting table at Dragon's Reach to raise their value. Then I turn them around and sell them to Farangar, and he always buys them. I've never met a man so obsessed with necklaces. He says their enchantments are valuable. I think he likes to wear them. Maybe tomorrow I'll enchant him a dress to go along with it. That's nice. I can't help but notice that Carlotta is hovering nearby, like we've taken a seat or something. Hey, are you, are you sure? Are you fine? Are you okay there? You... Okay, right, fine. Um, <laughs> it's not every day I meet a mage who can work the forge. That's the truth. I don't really understand it myself. There should be more of me. It seems to me smithing and enchanting are two complementary skills. I can only assume it has to do with the stigma that comes with being a blacksmith. Look, she's even tapping her foot now, impatiently. Look, find another seat, Carlotta, my goodness. What stigma? They say to wield a hammer, you must be as dull as an anvil and as strong as an ox. As if stupidity were a prerequisite for the craft. Although I have heard warriors talk of such things. They say the person who thinks too much on the battlefield lacks focus. In battle, having an empty mind certainly makes you more decisive, but the forge is not something that requires you to act swiftly. But I do like the notion of intelligence being a weakness. 
Why is that? There are far too many mages who thumb their noses at common folk, as if worth was defined by the size of one's skull. Alchemists invented wine, farmers harvest the grapes, and smiths provide the tools. So, to me, each is worth more than all the mages in Winterhold. You do have a point. What is it with wizards and skulls? Anyway, um... Uh, alchemists invented wine? Well, don't quote me on that. It does seem likely, though, doesn't it? Some alchemist trying to invent a new health potion stumbles onto a recipe for liquid bliss. Hmm. That's one theory. Uh, where, where do you gather souls for enchanting? Caves are the best place to find packs of wolves, or bears, sometimes even trolls. Unfortunately, by myself, they provide a bit of a challenge. There used to be three other mages in my faction, a motley bunch to be sure. A Khajiit, a Redguard, a Nord, and myself. Um, why four? Four mages can be a formidable party, especially when their talents complement each other. As a result, I can afford to make mistakes. Mistakes like trading our last healing potion for a flask of wine. Not a problem when the Red Guard was there to restore my wounds. Mm, I, who, I wonder who was responsible for that. I do have serves me well. It turns out most feral beasts in Skyrim are susceptible to fire. Uh, what happened to your companions? Victim to the squalls of battle, I'm afraid. It matters not if you are a novice or an archmage. All it takes is a single misstep. The Khajiit was first. We all knew it'd be him. Then our numbers were three. Next came the Red Guard, then the Nord, and soon only I remained. Uh, tell me about the Khajiit. The Khajiit, Razan, was what we call a scroll mage. Not an ounce of magical talent, but one who desperately wanted to cast spells. Well, that sounds familiar. Wait, what? You're not going to tell me anymore? Oh, I see. You are making a rude comment. Where he got the scroll? Oh, you're continuing. I thought he just, we're, we're just going for a walk, are we? Easily could have spent his share of the boon. I had to. The farmers are charging me double for the produce I sell, or anywhere else for that matter. Where are we going? He was a paranoid cat as well, with a nose for things that didn't exist. Always convinced there was a spy lurking around the corner. Bandits are bolder he than should ever. have been wary of his dealer. He purchased a bad batch of flame cloaks that ended up burning him alive. I see. Uh, what happened to the Red Guard then? Are we also we going to go for another war call? And, bold, and my kind of woman. Too brash for her own good, though. She wanted to trap grand souls instead of common ones. The most plentiful source of grand souls are mammoths. The most common place to find mammoths are giant camps. It was a short-sighted idea. We ended up wasting all our profits on magic potions, provided we even survived. Sarasa didn't. Giants are quite protective of their big furry cheese factories. Uh, yeah. That's one way to describe mammoths. How would you mess with giants? It's such a bad idea. Um, unless you're the companions, obviously, but... How did the Nord die? Well, at that point, it was just the two of us. Razan wasn't particularly. Not again, Mikhail. was our healer. We're going for another walk, are we? Well, don't keep me in suspense. Make it quick. All right then. Oh, Fine. Right, I'll leave you to your revelry then, shall I? I, I just, I, I, I need to tune out the racket for a while. Yes, I do. Your head rolling around on the floor in a minute, mate. If you don't shut up. All right. Well, after all of that training. My skills have improved a little bit. Uh, destruction's at 11. Uh, Two-handed is at 15. Uh, so... 
That's not bad. And I got a perk to spend. I think it's probably going to go on this. Novice level destruction spells cost 30% less magicka and are 15% more powerful. Yes, please. Also, my magicka pool is increased very, very, very slightly. We're getting there. Right. He's still at it, I hear. Marvelous. Right, I need to get some breakfast and... Need some money. I want to buy a sword. A big sword. Two-handed sword. Don't want an axe. Because axes are for... Uh, axes are for chopping wood with. Uh, no offense. Um, and hammers are for builders and blacksmiths and... Um, blokes in really heavy armor and also small deities with a bit of a uh, fetish for thunderstorms, speaking of which. Guess what's rolled into town by the sounds of it. <sighs> Hold her. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Let's no. save that up. I, I need slightly more paying work than that, thanks. Uh, but what we do want here is now yeah, now see, here's the thing about my magicka pool. Some say that the correct term for it would be alchemancy and not mead, meadmancy. But the thing is, it is very specifically me. Look, mead increases magicka, ale increases magicka. So it's not specifically mead, but mead and ale increase magicka. Wine increases health. It's not all alcohol. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. We need a balanced, healthy diet, you see. So, um, mead. And have you got any salmon? Yes, salmon steak. And let's see. We need something. Cheese wheel. Yeah, a whole damn cheese wheel. Seriously, that's, yep. That's what's happening. And something for health. Um, what do we got? Not raw beef. Ugh. Cooked beef. That'll do. Excellent. Need anything else? Just let me know. So, I've, I've got some other stuff of my own, but hey. And 20 mug crab legs that I still don't have enough butter to cook. Um, tell you what. Well, let's have that. The mead. The a sack of flour. Where the heck did I get that? Um, cooked beef. Cheese wheel? Right, cool. Stats are buffed. Wonderful. Oh, and uh, I should have put my armor on. Just gonna, gonna do that. Right. This now leaves me with 617 gold. So, let's go see if Adrienne has a sword I can buy and see if she'll forgive me for accidentally running off with the Jarl sword. <laughs> you shouldn't be afraid of me. Uh, hi. How's it going? Uh, it goes. Uh, have you got a sword? Blades, helmets. Pretty much anything That'll do. It's like half my money. More than half my money, but it'll do. Marvellous. It's kind of big, but... For some reason, I think it might be because I'm an Ord, I just feel more comfortable with a two-handed weapon than some poxy little axe. Uh, so... Uh, actually, you can buy my, my hammer I have lying around. There you go. And I, I'll hold on to that for now. But, yeah. Don't forget to check right. the side. God, this thunder is loud! Alright, so. Speaking of earning money, which is something I really want to do right now, I found this note from the treasure hunter and then never got around to reading it. I was a bit too excited about the whole college thing. I'm close to finding the Iron Sword of Souls. I've tracked it down to Baal Gulch Mine. It's apparently guarded by a bandit chief. 
Quail Gulch Mine. Where would that be? Where would that be? Uh, uh, it's the Museum in Solitude. Altered Stream Camp, Rorikstead. Where is Bile Gulch Mine? I don't see it anywhere. Collapsed Riverwood Mine, Embershard Mine. Um, I have no idea. Anyway. Um... Right, let's go have a look at the notice board. Maybe there's something on there I can do. You tried mercenary work? Clear out Green Spring Hollow, gather Corundum Ore, gather Flight Amanita, Amanita. I yeah, never could figure out the pronunciation of that one. Recover stolen heirloom from White River Watch. <sighs> right, well, we've got to start somewhere. Um, Let's have a look at these two. Uh, let's see. Greenspring Hollow is over there. And out of curiosity, where is... That's, all right. Wild Gulch Mine is all the way over there. And Whitewater Watch would be where? There. Is that it? Kill a bandit leader leader at Holt Stream. Oh, that was the that was the bounty ladder, wasn't it? Interesting. It hasn't actually. Bounty bandits. Yeah. This. Oh, I saw it in the list. I'm just being an idiot. There it is. Oh, it's over there, huh? Huh. Okay. Of this, I have no doubt whatsoever. Right. There is one other thing, too. Now that I've sharpened my body a little bit, so to speak, I need to sharpen my mind. Which means I need to do some studying. It's always good to see someone I can help. I can't tell if she's being sarcastic or not. It's a little scary. Um... I need a research journal. Yes, I do. And... Ah. Requires three rolls of paper and leather. How do I make rolls of paper? I think there's a way to make rolls of paper. I just need the right equipment. Okay. Yes. Here we go. I need an Alembic, I think. How much is that? 319 Arcadia. Why are you trying to fleece me? I thought we were friends. Oh. Can I sell you anything? Not really. You are a cruel, cruel woman. Fine. Be careful out there. I get actually out of curiosity. What do you need, my friend? Am I training in alchemy? I think I can teach you a thing or two. Uh, 70 gold. Sure. Okay, that leads me to 157. Take care of yourself. Right. Um, bit of alchemy training, but yeah, okay. So I, I'm, I'm, there's no way around it, Mills. You're going to have to accept it. This is Skyrim. If you want to earn honest money here that is more than just one gold per piece of chopped wood, you're going to go have to bash some bandits over the head with a large metal object. Luckily, the extremely patient folks up at Yorvaska have taught me the basics, so hopefully we'll be... I'll stand at least a, a Nat's chance in hell. All right, let's see. Um, where do we want to go first? Halt the stream camp, Green Spring Hollow, Iron War X. Uh, I could revisit. Uh, well, maybe less said about the demonic rats, the better. But uh, there's always Embershard Mine, and there's always the sewers underneath White Run itself. I found quite a few good things down there, as it turned out. 
So, um, I'll tell you what, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a slog. But let's go check out Green Spring Hollow. It, I don't know. Something for some reason is telling me that that might be easier. I don't know though. That, it probably won't be. It's probably nonsense. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I've got this. Should probably put it away before it gets rusty. But I got that. And I got this. And I'm not the best at casting magic. But I gotta make an effort. And I'm all fueled up on mead, so I've got a little bit to work with here. We got some juice. And I should probably use it as often as possible, if only for the practice, so. Hello, Mr. Beehive. I've already searched you. Right. Green Spring Hollow is this way. That is an elk that is really, really just begging for it. Like. Gotcha! <laughs> Look at me go! Nils, God of Thunder. Um, is this worth taking at all? Probably not. I hate to kill it for, and waste all the meat, but... Uh, venison's pretty worthless. Everything's pretty worthless, worthless to be honest with you. When, when, though, when, you, when, it, when you're me trying to sell things to merchants in this town, I mean... Uh, right, stay clear of the giants. Do not annoy the giant. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, there, there's a giant. I was about to say that the camp's not guarded. But it definitely is. Whoa! Hello! Oh! Oh! I have not keyed it. Oh, God. No. Skeevers. Take your tails, though. Right. I believe... I tried about my Magicka, but I think my stamina definitely regenerates slower when it's horrible weather like this. I can't believe it again. Like, you get back from Winterhold and then immediately, boom, just... Didn't get five minutes before this rolled in. But I didn't know better. It's almost as if someone around here pissed off the weather gods a while ago. Call me crazy, but... Mud crabs. I could always use the practice. Damn it. Ugh, I'm, I'm, I'm dry. Alright. Gentlemen, one at a time, please. Okay. I am going to take... You had gold? Wealthy mud crabs, apparently. I'm going to take all of these, including the bajillion legs, because one of these days I'll find the mother load of butter, and I, I will have just magic of fortifying food for days. Uh, but until then... I really need to clean this sword. Wow. <laughs> right, are we there yet? It's this way. Do I hear a wolf? I think I hear a wolf. I forget exactly what con uh, Kundra Totten? Tundra Cotton's useful for. I felt like I could hear footsteps behind me then. Alright. What is this place here? Is this it? No, no, Green Spring Hollow's that way. So what's the deal with this place? Not the cabbages. I feel like I should be cautious. But also Tundra Gun. It's useful for something. 
that's just empirical fact. It's a, it's a, it's 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 an alchemi alchemical reagent. Therefore, it is in fact useful for something. But the question, of course, is: Is it useful for something that's useful? Now look at this place. I don't know if I want to go in here and disturb the, the spirits of the dead. As fascinated as I am. It's not superstition talking, don't get, don't, get, don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, I don't want to go disturb the spirits of the dead because I happen to know from reading books that the spirits of the dead get quite up themselves about people trespassing on their uh, property. So, uh, I think we'll leave it alone for now. I'm just about getting the hang of mud crabs. Let's leave the um, shambling minions of the undead to someone else. Oh, speaking of shambling minions of the undead... If I'm not very much mistaken, those were skeletons. That is that is a skeleton with a big axe. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Back. Creature of the night. Oh dear. That's not really working very well, is it? Was it you that knocked over the cabbages? Come on. Hey, destruction! And I leveled up. Marvelous. Um, let's let's have some more magicka, shall we? And and a perk. Let's put it in. Yes. Barbarian. Oh, perish the thought. Tell you, you wield a two-handed sword for five minutes, and you get typecast immediately. Whoa! Caught a rock. I heard his axe swing then. Hello. There we go. Oh! Give over, guys. We were friends there for about three seconds. It was nice. Now I have to exterminate you. Alright. Well. That is not worth taking. I can't actually carry it anyway. It would, be, it would weigh too much. Um, thank you for proving my point about the undead, though, Mr. Skeleton. Um, now, if you don't mind, I would not like to introduce myself to the rest of your friends. I would rather head straight on to Greenspring Hollow. I'm not even sure what Greenspring Hollow is, only that it's this way. That would be a couple of the aforementioned cheese factories disappearing into the gloom there. I think I'm nearly here. It's just right in front of me. Ah, here we go. Alright. Oh, it's a saber cat. That's not good. I haven't quick saved in a while. There we go. Bad kitty. Bad. Hey, look at that. Two saber cat teeth and two eyes. That's a bizarre rarity, you know. And I'll take your pelt as well. Now, have you been hoarding any goodies, Mr. Saber Cat? Ugh. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Ooh. Light and manatee. I, mm, I don't. I didn't actually accept that job, but I begin to think if I find any more of these, maybe I should. Well, Hunter's Folly, aptly named. I guess I'll take that hood. Um, lock picks, but no, I've tried bows. It didn't work out. Um, I'll take your meat pie though. And your mead. And this elk hide, actually. I'll go into an account book two. I wish I had the luxury of being able to just collect books. It would be awesome. I would love to have a library one day like the, the, the old wizard had back in High Rock. It would be the coolest thing. 
And now, though, though, they're really worth more to me as things that I can sell. It's depressing. Or anyway, let's see if I can get this open. Oh, come on. Oh, so close. Come on. Ah. There we go. Pay no attention to the fact that the uh, direction of the lock changed there in that little transition. Ah, uh, glass gauntlets? What the... You mean... Okay. Look at that. I can see why he wanted to fight to the death protecting it. Glass gauntlets. Wow. They look a bit weird, but... They're definitely better than what I've got at the minute. The only question is, would I prefer to sell these? I feel like at the minute maybe I would, but I'll wear them for now. Interesting. Uh, we've also got a huge pile of furs. Which I'm going to turn into leather at my earliest opportunity. All right. Well, that was a very profitable little excursion. I don't know how much Preventus Avenich is going to pay me for this, but I think the glass gauntlets alone were enough. All right, let's see. I am almost completely over encumbered with stuff, so let's just go ahead and take this all back to town before I worry about anything else. I heard wolves. And I've been tasting alchemy ingredients on my way back, which is what? Why? Why, man? What is your problem? Does he want revenge? I suppose I'm in crab circles, I'm some kind of war criminal. I, I get. Oh, oh. No, good. Well, that's karma for you. Alright. Oh! Sure. Ah, it's amazing what a little bit of training can do. You used to be really scary. I'm not going to take the wolf pelt. I wouldn't be able to carry it. Just about get those, though. Right. I do feel a little bit ridiculous. I really, I honestly, right now, I'm dressed like the world's most pathetic barbarian. Which is... I just don't like on so many levels. I guess that even though the war is officially over, it's not really over by the sounds of it. Hello. Do you seek to make a purchase? Kind of. Take a look. Uh, let's. Ooh. Tent, yes. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna need that at some point if I want to travel further afield on foot. Um, let's see. Okay, so I've decided to hold on to the glass gauntlets. Uh, mostly because I can only sell them for 30 gold at the moment, and a pair of glass gauntlets are not worth selling at 30 gold. That's ridiculous. Armor 17, it's crazy. Um, even if they look a bit strange. So, anyway, um, did also remember that I picked up this. What do we make of that? Well, it's a little bit silly with the hood, isn't it? Um, where's, where's the, where's the, there? I guess it's okay. I do kind of prefer my leather cape, but... It seems to have a magical effect on it, but I don't know what it is. This torn cloak shows signs of its previous owner's fate. It smells of leaves and damp earth. Inability to do spell effectiveness. Eh, yeah. Nothing new there. <laughs> Nord blood. Uh, resist frost. Yeah, I don't... 
Weird. It's not particularly valuable. Oh no, that won't do though. Look at what it's doing near my feet. Oh, that's that just looks weird. No, no. The roads of sky. Take a look. No, I don't want. I don't really want it. Thank you. No, it can go. It can go. Where, where is it? Eight gold, whatever. Um. That's much better. Not having weird physics-related issues with this cloak. Good. Okay. Right. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. I mean, how much does he pay to lick boots? Ne never mind. Hello, Elderwin. One of the new servants. Remember that I like my meat rare. Only if you're paying for it. Prevent us. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Green Spring Hollow has been cleared. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. 200 That's... I'll take so that for killing a saber cap. That's not bad. Hello. Rongar. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the Stormcloaks. So why are you not taking the fight to the Stormcloaks instead of sitting there eating you, uh, drinking your mead? Uh, <clears throat> Grandfather's accent was a little bit weird. You got used to it after a while. Um, Barangar. Divine smile on you, friend. What have you got for sale? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to guess. Yeah, no... Shizzle. Dragon's teeth? What is that? Ignites all targets doing two damage for four seconds. On death, the ground burns for eight damage per second. Interesting. Doesn't seem like a lot of damage, though. Two damage for four seconds. And on death. But... Yeah. Curse of the Silent? Drains four points of magicka per second for 30 seconds. Or until the target successfully casts a spell. Weird. Uh, let's, let's, let's go to the bottom of the pile, shall we? What do you got in the discount section? Real Baron Zaya and a bridge, dear. Um, scrolls. I'd like to be able to make my own scrolls if I can. Uh, Vampires of the Iliac Bay. A very valuable book for some reason. Um, Soul Gems, Spell Tome Alarm. 120 seconds alerts you when an enemy crosses the 82 foot perimeter. Yeah. The Spell Magic. Scroll of Wither, Willing Blood. Long Stride, Long Stride. That could be useful. Alteration, right? That. <clears throat> the Destruction Staff is appealing in that for 180 seconds having a destruction staff that could be really useful depending on the destruction staff right that's the problem uh as you reconstruct i should go back to riverwood and see if uh what's his face in the general store has got some spells because i think he's got some spells that that Farangard doesn't have um consuming power Unbound fire. Bottle of wildfire that deals six damage. The flames randomly jump to the target. Or the caster. De oh, I'm just going to set myself on fire, aren't I? Hailstone. An ice crystal that shatters ten for ten points of frost damage to health and stuff. That is expensive. Um, wild healing. Heals a caster 22 points and heals a random target within range 22 points. Conjure avenging wraith. Summons an Avenging Wraith for 30 seconds. His stats are equal to 150% of those of the opponent that last killed it. Huh. That is interesting. I don't think I can cast that yet, though. That's the only problem. Bone Spirit. The cast a vengeful, vengeful spirit that homes in on the target and explodes for 27 points of damage to undead. That would have been useful. Earlier. Uh, let's... You know what? I like I like the look of hailstone. I I'll take that. That was expensive as hell. You take care of yourself now. But 
Hailstone. I now possess it. Yes, I do. Father says I'm too young to change the sword, so I practice with my fists. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, alchemy bench while I'm here, I think. I think that would be a good idea. Here we go. Right, just make all of the things and I can sell the ones that aren't useful for anything. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> That's why we kill mud crabs. Okay, I am clearly going to become quite a talented alchemist in no time if I keep this up. Look at it go. Alright then. Now, I uh, need to go do something about all these furs I got. Well, I turned all that fur into leather and I turned all that leather into some leather armor which I sold to Adrienne and she's compensated me quite nicely for it actually. I got like 120 odd gold out of the bargain so that's not bad for a little bit of time spent and some smithing skill gained. I have a feeling that Elderwin's onto something with the whole mages and smithing thing. It might be a good idea to learn some of that but what I need right now what I'm on a quest for at the moment is rolls of paper, Welcome if you can believe it. Goods. Welcome indeed. Yeah, yeah, Balathor, whatever. Everything's you got any paper? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I need paper, man. That's what I need. Uh, rolls of... <sighs> Damn it. You got a jade dragon, but you don't have any paper. Where am I going to get paper from? Do come back. Can I make paper? Actually, I... Yeah. I think I said this earlier. I think I can make paper, but I need a lembic. Ugh. 363. That will just about buy me an alembic. I knew there was a reason I was gravitating towards Arcadia's Cauldron. Does this belong to anyone? Would it, would it kill the old to be a little tidier? Good heavens. Anyway. Don't want that though. What do you need, Mike? Take a look. Well, actually, what I could sell you is some of my forty-nine potions of restore stuff. <laughs> so you could have these ten, and uh, then you can have those. That'll leave me with twenty. Actually, I don't even need that many, do I? There we go. Um, that suddenly made me quite a bit richer. Um, you can have those as well. And that. I'll keep these poisons. They might be useful. That can go. Right, cool. Um, what I need from you is not A.S. Fusilia Valens. No, that's extremely valuable, whatever the heck that is. Um, I need an Alembic. Don't need a cauldron, though. Not yet, anyway. A more and pestle would not be bad, though. That means I could mix potions wherever I am. Although, the thing is, I have I have a strong suspicion. I would yourself. forget to do so until I until actually seeing an alchemy lab, in which case uh, it would then be pointless to have mortar and pestle. So for now, I'm not going to bother with it. Because it's kind of expensive. But, um, this Alembic, here we go. Now, I can do a bunch of stuff with this. Dissolve some items, analyze some solutions, mix ingredients. Um, I believe if I do this... Right, I can craft a few things. Including rolls of blooming paper. So what I need is firewood and bellua stagnum extenuant. Or firewood with viscous cruor extenuant. Or natura mare extenuant with some firewood. Okay. I will figure that out later. Right now... As tempting as it is actually to go back inside and spend the rest of the afternoon planning around with alchemy equipment on account of the weather. 
I do have other things to be doing right now. 